guess who's going back to the motherland? It's a big deal, going to your birth country. We used to talk about it all the time when we were little, remember? Grand adventure to find your birth mother. So proud of you. <laughs> Be my translator in Beijing. Audrey, I got you. Brady, you're a diva. You're a big show. Just let me know. Cat lives there now. Your famous college roommate. You ready to lose to a celebrity? <laughs> Dead Eye is coming. By the way. Dead Eye, your cousin. Hey, Audrey. Oh, hi. Hey. Dead Eye. Where did that come from? You know, I think I get it. I called the adoption agency, and she lives in Haiching. Okay, will you guys come with me? Fuck yes, bitch. I love a grand adventure. Oh, hi. So nice to see an American. What do you do for work? Hmm? Hmm? It's the cops are doing a back check. Oh, oh my god, you're a drug dealer? Ah! You're a drug dealers now, bitches! What the fuck? Is that a condom? We can't get caught with drugs Hello. in China. We'll get jailed for it's life. It's Trinidad, the island man, your island man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you, yes you, the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. And uh, today, opening weekend of the new movies, um, what is this, July 7th, I went and saw the new movie called Joyride. Uh, and well, without further ado, remember our rating scale, shock a thumbs up, it's good to see, I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down, it's junk, I don't recommend it. And overall for Joyride, uh, the kind of raunchy uh, comedy, <laughs> uh, it is overall a shock a thumbs up. Uh, now, you know, when I first initially saw the, tr the trailer for this movie uh, in the theater, um, I initially liked it. And then it got into kind of the raunchy drug stuff that you see in the trailer uh, that actually I've shown you just in the trailer here. Um, and I was a little worried, you know, that that kind of that kind of takes me a little bit. That's a little bit out of my comfort zone there. You know? <laughs> um, but, you know, fortunately, it was it wasn't too yeah, bad. Fortunately, uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, let me just say that uh, there is a lot of raunchiness in this. Um, there's a lot of bad language. And again, just, you know, in general, talking about some drug uh, and drug paraphernalia. And also some sexual uh, explicit uh, undertones in this uh, that I'm sure you had seen kind of sort of uh, telegraphed uh, in the trailers as well. And, uh, <laughs> uh, but still, it's nothing uh, that you hadn't seen if you'd like comedy, uh, you know, uh, adult comedies, like, say, uh, you know, The, the Wedding, uh, you know, The Wedding Party or something. Uh, uh, all right, I, I admit I don't see a lot of these uh, adult comedies uh, like that, where, where it is a little raunchy, you know, kind of like a road trip, uh, kind of like uh, Neighbors, um, you, know, uh, well, you know, things like that. Um, you know, any of the Seth Rogen kind of uh, comedies, uh, you know, Pineapple Express, sort of. Um, yeah, but... And then also, in addition to that, it centers all around women. So, you know, kind of like, uh, what, what was that? Uh, um, I can't remember. That uh, one with uh, Amy Poehler or something with the wedding. I, I want to say it's Wedding Crashers, but I'm not sure if that was really it. Uh, bachelor Party or something like that. Um, basically, you know, uh, what we have here ultimately is the story of friendship. Uh, friendship of, you see in the trailer, uh, two girls who become women, grown up together, uh, of Asian descent, uh, Chinese, uh, living, you know, uh, it looked like the Midwest to me, but apparently it turns out to be Seattle in this movie, so why it's so um, you know, why these Asian girls, uh, as young children and, and throughout their teens are kind of, 
uh, you know, looked down as a, uh, you know, kind of a rarity is, is doesn't make a lot of sense to me, I, I, which is why I really thought it was the Midwest where this was taking place at. Uh, however, uh, that be it as it may, uh, basically one is a straight A kind of uptight uh, student, uh, becomes, you know, a lawyer for a well uh, established uh, law firm uh, looking to make partner uh, the other her friend since childhood uh, you know kind of you know um, with her Asian parents um, being uh, very gosh I want to say more American <laughs> More of the raunchy American uh, slacker type, uh, which, you know, I, again, as, as the white guy in the room, I guess, in the theater, I had to say to myself, this doesn't make a lot of sense. You would think that the Asian girl with the Asian parents, you know, again, to be stereotypical, uh, which this movie does kind of play on its tropes, uh, would have been the straight A, straight laced uh, character for this movie, uh, growing up to become the professional lawyer. But no, uh, that one turns out to be the drug, uh, you know, almost sex crazed, uh, very sexually open, um, you know, typical. I want to say, I want to say typical American, uh, you know, almost embarrassment to their parents. <laughs> Whereas the Asian adopted girl, uh, Audrey, um, is the, you know, is the straight laced parents, is the straight laced uh, professional and straight A student that was raised by white parents <laughs> um so i don't know maybe that was a conscious choice that oh we're going to play against uh you know stereotypical type and do it like that but then again you know if that was to buck the stereotypes then they really went back to the stereotypes as far as being um you know when the two visit uh, China basically what this what, the, what <laughs> gosh it's hard to describe this movie uh, let me let me just say the professional lawyer Audrey uh, as her business uh, law firm is expanding is going to Beijing for a business trip to try to get a Chinese partner uh, with a Chinese firm over there. Uh, her friend, the outrageous uh, Lolo, <laughs> uh, artist, um, is going to go with her to help her translate uh, as Audrey does not speak uh, Chinese. Um, you know, having grown up with white parents. Um, so once in Beijing, they meet up with uh, one of their other friends, the actress that you see uh, briefly in the trailer, um, who Audrey had gone to college with and was also best friends with her and much more professional of a friendship with her than, you know, her childhood friend, Lolo. Um, once there, you know, the trailer makes it seem like this is a road trip to China to find Audrey's uh, birth mother or her parents as she was adopted, given up for adoption in China. And as was big in the late 80s and early 90s, uh, you know, adopted by American parents and, and uh, brought over uh, to the United States. Um, but this is actually a business trip uh, that Audrey is on to secure her firm's, uh, you know, uh, you know, corporate uh, inclusion in this Chinese firm. Um, but as you see in other parts of the trailers, um, if, you know, we see that guy from the Daily Show uh, who is also in Megan, 
uh, talking about if you don't know your past, how do you know, you know your future or where you're going to go? Again, standard, typical, stereotypical Chinese cookie, uh, fortune teller kind of stuff. Um, and essentially he's not willing to do business with her and their firm unless uh, she explores her past and finds her parents. Um, so she goes off to do this uh, with the help of her friends there in China and all crazy hijinks breaks loose uh, starting with what you saw in the trailer uh, on the train with the American, the typical white girl American uh, being the drug, <laughs> the drug dealer and getting those girls in trouble. Essentially um, stranded in China without their passports. Uh, after that, again, straight from the trailer, you see them trying to uh, continue to travel, but under the guise of a K-pop, uh, as being K-pop band, uh, <laughs> as they can, you know, being famous, you can pass through all this other stuff. Um, <laughs> which, um, you know, I can't speak towards, but okay, okay. I, I, you know, it is, it does provide some funny, uh, hilarious moments there. Uh, I, I did find it being a little atypical, well, uh, very too typical, I guess, uh, you know, that the white, uh, person is, uh, the bad drug dealer, um, you know, along with the tropes of, you know, it seemed that the Audrey Lolo characters were reversed, uh, you know, again, in their professionalism, uh, you would think that the American, uh, grown, uh, the American raised by American white, uh, parents would be the more of the slacker than the one raised by the Chinese native Ch Chinese parents. Uh, but you know, again, maybe that's what they were going for was to break that trope. But then again, they keep several others like the white, uh, you know, drug dealer gal on the train. Um, the fortune cookie uh, kind of uh, owner of the law firm in Beijing saying, oh, you know, you must seek out your past to understand your future kind of a thing. But, you know, okay, I get it. It wouldn't be much of a story without that push. Uh, but again, I thought it was going to go directly was, oh, we're looking for my parents. I want to go find her. You know, maybe these gals just came out of college, etc., and it's going to be a journey of self-discovery. Uh, what is actually a business trip turns out to be a journey of self-discovery as the friends bond while making it through uh, China uh, on, their, uh, on their wits <laughs> and guile uh, <laughs> and <laughs> maybe some of their sexuality as well. Um, for as bad a language and, enough, and as much drug paraphernalia is not only mentioned and uh, sexual situations uh, presented in this film, there is no nudity at all, which, you know, I find somewhat unfortunate. Um, well, there is maybe one hint of nudity, but, you know, there were several opportunities to see some good boob shots that uh, were totally missed. <laughs> so again, breaking a standard trope uh, that you would normally see in a movie like this. Um, so again, I guess the comedy is pretty good. The message is pretty good overall as well. Um, as far as the bonding of the friendships. And then, you know, there is something that occurs that breaks up these people, uh, these friends, and they have to uh, overcome that and try to uh, resolve things to, again, get their friendship back on track. Um, one, you know, uh, again, talking about stereotypes, I will go ahead and... Uh, give you a spoiler it as they're looking for audrey's uh birth mother in china it is discovered uh well they end up staying with lolo's uh relatives uh audrey's childhood friend in china 
Uh, they all think Audrey is the prettier one, the smarter one, and then it is revealed at the adoption agency that Audrey's mother was not actually Chinese and that Audrey is not Chinese, but she was Korean. <laughs> at which point, once the family, the Chinese family finds that out, they say, oh, you must get out of here. We hate you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a very stereotypical thing as, you know, some of the Asian communities don't get along. Uh, and I'll just say that. Uh, so it plays towards those stereotypes as well. Um, you know, which it's like, uh, you know, as they pick and choose which stereotypes they wish, wish to uh, bonk and buck the system, uh, they easily fall into the trope of several other stereotypes and continuing to perpetuate that as well. Um, okay, <laughs> uh, maybe that's just my personal hang-ups, but I would have liked to have seen something a little bit more avant-garde, uh, perhaps a little bit fresher as not following those tropes. Um, you know, something as innovative as, oh, the Amer you know, as they did in the beginning with Audrey's parents being the American uh, parents, be raising the smarter, more intelligent, your typical Chinese or Asian child being uh, much more studious than the, um, your standard American kid, which is what Lolo, her friend, with the Chinese parents turns out to be. <laughs> <laughs> so that was an interesting buck of, of stereotypes there, but then they play towards all these other ones. Um, you know, that's just something that kind of irked me a little bit. It's like, oh, why try to be innovative and then just fall back into these tropes? Uh, but overall, it was fun. I did get plenty of laughs. Uh, unfortunately, at the expense of... of you know, maybe at, at a racist uh, expense that I laughed because as, you know, this theater was, it wasn't full packed, but you know, there were several theaters at the same time or, you know, uh, so I think this box office will come in pretty high. It may not be number one, but it will definitely be, well, actually it might come in at number one. Uh, if not, it'll be number two for the box office this weekend being one of the newer movies out. Uh, joyride. We'll just have to see. Um, but I mean, I was like the only one laughing that it was, you know, that once she was found out that it was Korean, that she was Korean and the Chinese family, you know, said, oh, I didn't want anything further to do with her <laughs> there in Beijing. I found that extremely funny because it's like, oh, I know that stereotype, um, you know, but I don't think anybody else in the theater uh, of of the group that I was watching it with was cracking up as much as I was <laughs> because that is so true and maybe that's, you know, what they were uh, kind of uh, hopefully ashamed of. <laughs> Whereas I've just found it, you know, oh, it's like, oh, this is the typical stereotype, <laughs> you know, uh, like your average white guy, I guess, <laughs> or your average howley, I guess. Um, but other than that, again, like I said, the comedy is fresh and funny, uh, maybe leaning a little bit too much on the sexuality aspects of it. Uh, if it was guys, it probably wouldn't have leaned that heavy. If it was a South Rogan film, it probably just would have leaned extra hard on the drugs. Uh, but you know, they kept the drugs and the sexuality, um, you know, of these women, um, you know, evenly uh, matched throughout the whole movie. So, uh, you know, stuff I don't really get into all that much, but still, uh, you know, the comedy was funny and it did make me laugh, whether it should have or not at certain scenes. Um, I'll leave that up to you uh, to watch out for and, and enjoy or hate. It's all up to you and your perspective. But again, overall, a shock of thumbs up. Uh, for an interesting uh, take, definitely funnier than Crazy Rich Asians that had come out a while ago. And although this is in the same vein, it is definitely a different genre of film, being more of the raunchy comedy type. Uh, not normally associated <laughs> with uh, 
uh, with, you know, uh, Asian fare, I guess. Uh, so yes, I would say that uh, if you want to see some crazy uh, rich Asians or some crazy rich Asians, check out Joyride and you won't be uh, dis disappointed. You might be a little shocked at times from the comedy, but overall, a shock of thumbs up. All right, mahalo and aloha.